If you're new to air frying, you may be wondering how you convert those oven cooking instructions to air fryer cooking instructions. Well, it couldn't be simpler. All you need to do is a simple calculation. You take 20 degrees centigrade from the cooking temperature and you take about 20 to 25% of the cooking time. So let me give you some examples. If your oven instructions say to cook at 180 degrees C, you're gonna cook in your air fryer at 160 degrees C. And if your oven cooking instructions tell you to cook for 25 minutes, you're gonna cook for about 20 minutes. It could not be more straightforward than that. The good news is you can cook from fresh or frozen. Now, if you're cooking from frozen, just bear in mind that it's slightly different conversion. So take those cooking instructions on the pack, keep the temperature the same, but halve the cooking time. And the way you can really tell that any food is done, including frozen food that you've cooked in the air fryer, is to use your food thermometer. Simply poke it into the thickest part of whatever the food is and check that it meets the minimum safe temperature for consumption. A few other things with cooking frozen food just make sure that it's, there's enough space between the items and that there's enough moisture so if it's not breaded it's a good idea to use some oil some lemon or lime juice or actual lemons or limes sliced um, or to put it into a sauce just turn it over whilst it's cooking and again just check the temperature with that thermometer if you want a full list of all the instructions and cooking times there'll be downloadable timetables in the link below this video